Morning. Let's take you out and show you what's going on. Uh, we are um, taking a look at some scattered showers moving into parts of northwest and southwest Connecticut. The rest of the state is dry. Nothing out there that's horrendous. Uh, we don't have any lightning. We don't have any thunder, but we do have some moderate rain coming down in parts of northwest and southwest Connecticut this morning, and that's going to be the trend that'll fill in through central Connecticut throughout the next two hours. All right, visibility is down. Goose eggs in Chester. Uh, one, uh, Bradley, you went from z almost zero to ten, so a little bit of wind out there. They're moving that fog around three miles at Brainerd, a quarter of a mile in New Haven and in Bridgeport and a half a mile in Groton. So it's really particularly thick along the shoreline. You can see it in the distance here. Can't make out the Sleeping Giant State Park, but at least the temperatures are cooperating 51 degrees, right? Here's the TJ Maxx Plaza. It's all wet and the roads are wet this morning. A little bit of liquid on the lens here in our stores. I cam. Good morning to you. And there's Old Glory draped along the flagpole. Not a lot of wind right now in Old Saybrook, so not a lot of wind chill this morning. And that's good news. And there's no ice for sure. 44 degrees, one of the coolest temperatures I can find in Litchfield. These numbers are in from midnight. This doesn't take into account. I just got an email from Eric and Ingrid in Mansfield Center. They picked up an inch and a quarter. Uh, so there might even be a little bit more out there in parts of northern Connecticut where you guys picked up a lot of rain. But the temperatures cooperating 55, 56, 57 this morning. Remarkable temperatures. 40, 45 in Salisbury is one of the coolest numbers I can find. Everybody else is generally in the mid to upper 40s, uh, 50s, excuse me. And the winds are calm, so again, no wind chill. Here's the temperature trend today. It does go down, uh, but under mostly cloudy skies, it'll start to rise a little bit later on this afternoon into the mid 50s, which is pretty close to where we are right now. More of the same for the immediate shoreline with some sun. We can't rule out the possibility of an isolated shower, especially later this afternoon as uh, we've got a little disturbance, another disturbance out over the uh, Ohio River Valley. This is going to be moving in our direction, so we can't rule out the possibility of some passing showers due to this little weak system by later on this afternoon. And that is according to early morning futurecast tomorrow's weather today. So you can see here scattered showers, but also some breaks of sun. This is 2 p.m. Some breaks of sun around uh, still right before it sets, but also the possibility of a passing shower. And then tonight we clear things out. Tomorrow's a beautiful day. Sunday showers and some thunderstorms. Daytime highs today in the mid to upper 50s. Uh, which is where we are right now, 54 tomorrow, and then Sunday, 51 degrees with showers in the afternoon and evening, so better part of the weekend is Saturday. Monday and Tuesday looking really good at this point, so uh, temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 50s, if not 60 degrees, and then unsettled weather rolls in for Wednesday and Thursday. All right.